<laughs> hi, hi, I'm Kristen, you're you, and this is Quizix. Audience is here! If you've ever wondered anything from why is the sky blue to man, it's wild how my hookah works, you won't get those answers here, but uh, stick around, you might learn something, right? Okay, well hey, let's get into it. This is Quizix. Welcome to Quizix, the game show equivalent of an underfunded public school teacher doing bar trivia to win money for microscopes. But it's gonna be good, it's gonna be good though. It's about physics, let's meet our class clowns. Let's start all the way over here on the right, my right. We've got Reagan Niemala, Reagan. Oh, applause. Hi. Reagan, I learned you are a stand-up comic, you're from the UP, and you're bisexual, congratulations. Thank you, I feel very good about all three of those things. <laughs> Can you, can you make up a science fact for us? Um, no, I cannot. <laughs> <laughs> and that's honest. We, we appreciate the truth. Uh, Reagan, how do you feel about your chances of winning today? Pretty low. Pretty low? Yeah. Do you think, Bad um, schools in the UP. Knowing that the other half of the uh, contestants here are improvisers, do you feel a little bit better about your chances now? Uh, yeah. Okay, good. good, good, good. <laughs> uh, wow. Next up, we've got Louisa Noy. Louisa, welcome. Amazing! I've also learned you're a stand-up comedian here in the city of Milwaukee. You're a woman. Congrats! It's huge. I'm doing that too. So much fun. I um, <laughs> love it. Every day is a miracle. I have in my notes here that you ran the longest-running open mic in San Marcos, Texas. Yes. How? But for the shortest amount possible. Oh. Yes, it was a long-running open mic, and I took it over two weeks before COVID. Oh, congrats! Yeah. Did you start the pandemic? I did some things I would regret that could have caused things that then unraveled the whole economy. Right. I don't want, no comment. No comment at this time, no comment at this time. Uh, wow. No, and I respect that, I respect that. I want to move over to my improvisers. Let's hear it for the improvisers. It's us. It's you guys. Who knows, maybe they made that up. Maybe they don't even do improv, who knows. Uh, John, John Waldbauer. Hi. You, okay, give oh, it up. Thank hey, you. if we're clapping, we're clapping. Thank you. <laughs> John, um, you, you do comedy sports, you do Voyager, which is a local show here. But tell me about you. Tell us something that I don't have in my notes. Tell, tell me something about you. Um, I mean, my first, uh, my first concert ever was Neil Diamond. No way. Yeah. Wow. I was like four, and I was on my dad's shoulders for most of the show. If your last name was a shape, what shape would it be? Uh, what an interesting question. Oh, you said Neil Diamond. I, yes, I, I <laughs> if your guess I see how you got metal, there. What precious metal would it be? <laughs> Romeo. <laughs> any answer is just gonna sound like an adult film star. Well, like then let's Johnny go Platinum. <laughs> okay, I should ask you a science related question. Sure. Shouldn't I? Um, John, are you a Pythagorean theorem kind of guy or are you feeling more uh, Fibonacci sequence? If Fibonacci sequence because mm -hmm. yeah. there is a Tool song that I know that from. And that's a band. <laughs> and that's a band that I've heard of. Yeah. Yeah, of course. Amy Westrup is here. Hey. 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 Thank you. <laughs> Amy, um, I know so much about you. I've seen you perform so much. Tell me, what's your, what's your favorite show that you've done here in the city? Oh, my favorite show? Yeah. Gosh. Gadzooks. You know what? We just had one uh, on Friday that no was way. pretty great. It was yeah. all women. Oh. It was a Galentine's Day oh. show that was pretty pretty great. It raised a lot of money for a good charity. So that's that was awesome. that was a great one. Yeah. If John wasn't here, we could redo it right here. You know? We could. Yeah. We could. Yeah. Yeah. Well. Yeah. Uh, I do want to ask, I was meaning to ask Louisa this, but Amy, this will become your question. Sure. You're a, you're a woman in comedy, so I want to yeah. ask you the age old question Is science My age? funny? No. Oh, no. Because okay. <laughs> I am old. Well, so. uh, either of those questions you can answer, but the only one I need the answer yeah. to is Is science funny? When will it be funny today? Actually, without science, there would be no humor. So the answer mm. is yes. And she's wearing a blazer, so we can believe her. Yeah, and I'm using a crayon, so yes. even more. It like yes, cancels yes, yes. itself out. Yeah, yeah, it does. exactly. It does. Yeah. It does. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, let's let's get going into into yeah. Quizix, yeah. Yeah. Let's yeah. Go. So uh, I'm really 
excited about this. I'm really excited about this. Not only are you guys competing to to determine which is the funniest between stand-up and improv, you're not just competing for points. You're not just competing to learn the most about physics. You're also competing for this trophy. Wow. Woo! Oh, my word. Woo! Wow. Yeah. I know, I know. Um, wow. I'm really excited about it. There might be confetti, there might be bubbles, and there might be a crown. Wow. But I'm not, at, I'm not at liberty to say. Um, but I am at liberty to say, let's start this game, yeah? Let's go. Yeah. All right. So you've got papers. This audience is hot. Ugh, oh, I love you guys. Uh, you've got papers, you've got crayons. I've got multiple choice questions. These are worth one point each. I'm gonna give you a little bit of time to answer and then I wanna see you put those answers <clears throat> up. I wanna verbally accost you just a little. And uh, whoever wins, you know, gets the point. So, my first question. It's a tough one. How do you spell physics? Oh. How do you spell it? I'll give you some time with that. Audience, you can do it in your heads if you want. Um, it might be tough for some of you, and that's okay. And that's okay. Lisa is I'm second grooving. guessing myself. <laughs> All right. I'm counting down in my head. Now I am. <laughs> that's a lot All right, of crowns down. Yeah, let's do it. Louisa, I, okay, good. Uh, let's, see, <laughs> let's see those answers, let's see those answers. Show them to me, show them to me. Physics, physics, duh, wow, okay. <laughs> Pointed physics, John. Well, this is the spelling, but then also my answer is how you spell physics is very carefully. So it's both. <gasps> wow. Yeah. That's incredible. You guys all get points, nice Yay! work. Nice work. You all get oh. points. This is a sand sand. Was anyone just a little unsure? Yes, 100% yeah. unsure. What, uh, what, because I, I see you kind of spelled it as your brain was putting it together. Can you show us again how you, you've got dashes in between the, I could take off points, but I won't, I won't. She should get two points, second <laughs> language. First of all, this second, you ask how do you spell it? You don't spell it by saying physics, you spell it P-H-Y-S-I-C-S. <laughs> Technically, I'm the only person who deserves That's points. That's such a good point. <laughs> Just saying. That's Just saying. such a good point, and the audience agrees. All right. Wow. Well, hey, you guys all get a point for that. Great. Let's keep it moving, okay? Yeah. Now, this one, again, multiple Russian choice. Is. So I'm gonna just say A, B, C, D while I go down the list. If you need me to say them again, I probably will anyway. So uh, let's get into it. Okay. Which of these is an actual component in your car's engine <coughs> right now? If you don't have a car, that's okay. In a car. All right, A, crankshank. B, gudgeon pin. C, cylinder distributor. John, what's that face? Um, and D, cam border. Once again, that question is, which of these is an actual component in your car's engine? And that is A, crankshank, B, gudgeon pin, C, cylinder distributor, and D, cam border. If you ask me, they all sound fake, but uh, who knows? Cam border's a country. <laughs> Don't give it away. That could be the right answer. Who knows? <laughs> I just got that joke. I felt so. <laughs> yeah. Here, it only took, it only, it, it, you know, the distance that it took for sound to travel to my podium? Physics. Physics. Wow. All right. I don't have a car. Thank you. Fun. Oh, we're, have, we're all having PBS. fun. We're all yeah. having physical fun uh, for legal reasons. <laughs> Consensual physical fun. For, yeah. <laughs> Give it up for that. All right, I've got some answers here. All right, let me just run through what these answer choices were so that when you Show them to me, I'll know what you're talking about. A was crankshank, B is gudgeon pin, C is cylinder distributor, and three is cam border. Show me those answers. Show me those answers, let me cross-reference. Did anyone get it right? No, um, the answer was gudgeon pin. Does anyone want uh -oh. to make an argument for what they... Oh, is that, that's the pin that holds the, uh, the gear shift in place. That's not what I have on my car. Well, Every car is I different. Right. I don't know who gave you the right to say mm. what belongs in the car and what doesn't. <laughs> okay. As the only one there during the invention of the automobile, right. I can <laughs> confidently say that C was C. truly the, it's right by the distributor and which cap. One, which one was C, Amy? That was the uh, distributor thing. Okay, so you actually cylinder. Yeah, yeah. The, the cylinder, cylinder distributor. Um, yeah, you know, because you're from the UP and you build yeah, all I of build it. cars. Yeah. Do all you? of those things are in a car. Yeah. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> the part ones that I built. <laughs> I have also been in a Legos. car. Yeah, no, um, <laughs> I've been in a car before. I'll be honest, I haven't seen any of these things in a car before. Mm. So. Um, nobody gets points for that. I'm feeling capricious. Yay! Yay! Wow. Equality. Huh. Um, let's keep it going, you guys. Sure. But well, you know what? Here, let's get somebody can get a point. 
<laughs> what does the gudgeon pin do? You were very close, Amy. Do you want to give it another go? <clears throat> I do. Yeah. I do. It mm -hmm. it actually it holds the um, the uh, the gear shift uh, cables oh. in place. Yeah. On a 1982 Saab. Oh. <laughs> give yeah. Amy a point. Give Amy a yeah. point. Is All right. True? Yeah. As far as you know. Yeah. It's absolutely true. <laughs> Yeah. I've been told we are going to skip ahead, so let's check those point totals. Let's check skip those points. We're skipping ahead. You guys didn't even know what we're skipping, so why did I say it out loud? That's an excellent question. Uh, Amy, you are in the lead. Yes, bringing the heat from Motor City. Um, I knew it. How are my stand-ups feeling over there? Dumb. Crush. <laughs> and we don't need more than a one-word answer Dumb. for that now, do we? Uh, that was our warm-up, though, I'm not going to lie. Let's get... Okay, it says it on the prompter, so I feel harder. obligated to say it. Let's get metaphysical with Wow. Oh, oh, oh my God, it makes you groan. Okay. okay. The philosopher. With this round, <laughs> no more multiple mentioned. choice questions. Do you guys hear that over there? No more multiple choice questions. You got to raise your hand to get the point. And if you look like uh. you don't know the answer, I still might call on you because I run this studio like I run my classroom. That's right. So, point in this round, <laughs> importantly, Points in this round will cascade from four. So you've got a really good answer, like a good answer, like a really good answer. You'll get four points. Okay. You, you say they'll cascade from four? Yeah, I was just four? gonna say. Cascade. <laughs> down. cascade. Uh -huh. Yeah, they'll slide down. They'll go down a. They'll drip. Slide. They'll drip down Sweet. to one. If your answer sucks, you're getting too. one point. That's because I'm being nice. Okay, question Sounds four. Like Let's get into it. Are you guys ready? You're not writing, so Luisa, I don't know what you're doing over there. Do we raise our hand? You're going to be raising your table. hand. Yes, yes, yes. Why is a triangle the strongest shape? Amy's been confident this whole time. Reagan, what about you? <laughs> Why? <laughs> Well, so the hand rule is out the window. Okay, I get I it. I get I it. I could call it anyone, and I'm, okay. I'm invoking that right now. Why is a triangle the strongest shape, Reagan? You can get some points. Because um, a triangle is the strongest shape. Obviously. <laughs> yeah, right. I mean, that's, that's, that's a given. Right, yeah, we all know that. Um. <laughs> Does anybody want to steal at this point? This is, this is I'll of, try. John, go for it. Um, the, the, uh, in some triangles, there is a 90 degree. Angle, so the triangles are the strongest because those triangles are always right. You, oh, yeah. 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 yeah, and a, yeah. an obtuse answer, but okay. Oh. But you're so oh, cute. You're so cute. Oh. You're so cute. <laughs> that's isosceles. I actually knew the answer, but that's cool. Go you to the can others. step someone with a circle. <laughs> <laughs> the strongest doesn't in the streets. Yes. yes. Oh, like in a fight. And that yeah. one's for Reagan and me. Okay. I got okay. held up well, with a pizza cutter once. Uh, I... <laughs> Amy, what was your answer? <laughs> well, because it, it's got a it's got a wide base. Hmm. So do I. Again, I not, have I. not what I have on my card here. What I have here is any force that hits one side is equally distributed between the other two sides. With that balanced force, there isn't a weakest side, so they all hold together. Because um, of the strong base. I'm gonna give Louisa the four points for this one. Wow. I'm, gonna I'm give, not competitive. Amy, I'm gonna give you three, John, two, Reagan. <laughs> Reagan, you're only getting one point, girl. You, okay. Enjoy you that cascade, though. Thank you. Enjoy, Enjoy the cascade. Can trickle down those, economics. Yes. Yep, can we check down. those point totals just so I can accost them more specifically? I have three. I have 12. Ooh, John does have three. John I like three. the look of that. Yeah, I only have two. Lead. How are you feeling? Amazing. Amazing. Do you think you'll be able to hold on to your lead with our final question? Absolutely not. OK. This is if fuzzy math, because I should have five. But I, I'll just protest later. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> the show is called upstairs, Physics, Not so. Mathics, OK? Yeah, Ooh. good thing. Good um, thing. So this question is a tough one. I'm not even going to lie. OK. Um, I, wanna, I really want you guys to do what you can to get this right. Because right now, I don't, guys say me I don't you, feel really good about this. Guy. You, yeah. you folks, you people. Yeah. Perfect. <laughs> you contestants. All right, let's get into it. Uh, my final question here is, how does a plane fly? <laughs> mm, I know that, I know that one. Engines. <laughs> Pilot. <laughs> I haven't even looked at this side because I'm just assuming they don't have an answer. Pilots. Okay, we've got engines, we've got pilots. Pilots. That's a good answer. I'm not even lying, that's a very good answer. Anything mm. over here? Birds. <laughs> they, they blow air underneath the plane. <laughs> that's so crazy. And that's how it stays in the air. Yeah. So Reagan, I just have a question for yeah. you. Have you ever been in a plane? Yes. 
Where were the birds then? Um, it was a Atlantic flight, and they were all pelicans. Oh. <laughs> so you answered what kind of birds they were. <laughs> oh, and, and no, they were obviously they were underneath, underneath the plane. Right, yeah. right, right, right. Yeah. I didn't even know why I asked because Blowing you did up. explain that in your answer. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, okay, uh, and Lisa, what, what about you? What are you thinking? And if, Willpower if to use, oh. and the sheer fact that country can only stand that many tragedies, they have to fly. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> wow. The most German thing that's ever been said. Sponsored by Lufthansa. <laughs> right. Wow. What if they stop flying? That would um, be horrible. So I'm just going to give you guys all a moment. Does anyone want to invoke science at all? Well, there's inertia involved. <coughs> And oh there's uh, drag coefficients. Oh, that's one of the words. And there's uh, force and pitch and yaw. Okay, Amy, you get four points. Amy, yes. four points. <laughs> for saying add air? Yeah. Reagan, I'm giving you three because that was creative. Thank you. Uh, was between good. Louisa and John, I want something. I want some science involved. Give, give me something. We've got two well, and like one Well, just like how ice correct. cubes float to the top because they're lighter. Airplanes are lighter than the then, earth. So than the earth. Yeah. Okay. Gravity. <laughs> You, you could say a single word that's on this card and I would give you two points. Went. Some of them do. <clears throat> Anything else? <laughs> John, two points, Lisa, one point. Yay. I, can't, I can't do it this long, I can't. <laughs> oh my God. Um, okay, class, what have we learned? What have, have, have we learned, actually? Have we? Well, we I learned that. <clears throat> She's very emotional about flight. Yeah. yeah. I actually do have a tear in my eye. That might yeah, be related that was, to uh, an eyelash being yeah. in there, but. I'm still thinking about the gudgeon pin. Yeah. <laughs> Whoa, when you say that with some force behind it, it feels a little targeted. Is that a physics joke? Force, force. behind it. Yeah. Okay, yeah, hey. I did that on purpose. Either physics or Star Wars. I did that on purpose. Mm -hmm. um, okay, you guys, like I said, before we give the final point totals, that there were some prizes. And so I just kind of want to taunt you all before before we we give the point totals. So once again, we've got our trophy. Uh, oh yeah! yeah. Wow! You can, you can <laughs> twist it. You can pull it. You can. I was told yesterday that this was flick it, and I don't want to hear any jokes about that. <laughs> this is PBS. <laughs> um, we've got our crown. Yeah! Wow! That's you can scientific. flick that. Yeah. Yes, you Friends. can, John. Yeah. We've got bubbles. That's new. Oh. <laughs> hey oh, and. We've got confetti. Now, who's ready to know the winner? I am. That I am. Is. Yeah. All right, but before we do that, let's start in last place. Can I get a drum roll? That was old. That was in last place oh, is. Okay. It is a tie between John and Reagan. Oh my God! Yeah. Oh my God. Yeah. Last place. <laughs> Fourth last place. Yeah. Third place. And Third can place. I get this that drum God. roll going God. for our runner-up? Who could it be? Based on your math, it could be me. Huh? It's a, wait, 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 am I hearing correctly? There's no way. I'm not sharing a crown. It's a tie. Fight, no, fight, 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 Can we fight, see, fight, fight. can we see those score totals? Because I'm being told on the floor we don't believe it. Can we see that, that slide? Wow. 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 Um, what kind of math are you doing up there? I do have a, a leftover question we didn't hit. Do we want to do a tiebreaker? I think that or we throw hands. Yeah, those are the two. <laughs> yes. Let's, the two do, let's do a tiebreaker. All right. This one I need you guys to write on your papers. Okay. Do Reagan and I do anything? No, you don't. Just, just <laughs> sit there and look pretty. Uh, Why start now? <laughs> okay, that's a good point, John. Uh, which of these is not actually a type of energy? Okay. And this is for the win. Okay. A, potential. Okay. B, kinetic. C, mnemonic. And D, mechanical. And remember, which of these is not actually a type of energy? Baza. Okay, can you repeat them? <laughs> A, potential, B, kinetic, C, mnemonic, and D, mechanical. And I need the answer that I have on my card. I don't need a witty answer. <laughs> not this Why time. Why start now? Why start now? <laughs> That's what I say. Is not a kind? Correct. Which of these is not actually a type of energy? And quickly, before I beg you for your answer, Amy, yeah. uh, potential, kinetic, mnemonic, mechanical. All right. All right. A, B, C, D. Let me see him. Let me see him. Answers up. 
<laughs> Deep mechanical. And mnemonic, the correct answer is mnemonic. What? It is not actually a type That's of from literature. That's how Whoa. I knew it. That's from what? That's from literature. When oh. I know a term, I know it's not yeah, physics. Oh, right. That's how I win this. She's I can't right. read, so, and I have no potential. So. Oh, I drew Sonic the Hedgehog. But you got third place. Wow. Or I guess I second, second place. place. It's I worse know every numbers. Time. Yes, I do. So that means, Louise Noy, you are our winner. Oh, my God. And I have a few things for you. I have your Bop It oh, wow. or unbranded uh, gold object. <laughs> Fun times. <laughs> I've got your crown. Your crown? Am I going to Miss Universe? Is that what it is? Uh, Louisa, just can you tell me how this win feels? What, who, are you, who are you bragging to when you, when you go home? To my ex-physics teacher who gave me a this grade is worse than F <laughs> oh. in eighth grade. I won wow. this. <laughs> I'm coming yeah. for you. Can I won get this. Can Louisa direct to camera? Do you want to speak to that physics teacher right now? Yeah, what was his on? name? Should you still be alive? Oh, you're <laughs> in. <laughs> Louisa, you're in. We'll get yeah, you right there. We'll get you right. Oh. oh. Should you still be alive? <laughs> get worried now. I'm coming for you. <laughs> Louis <Louisa Noy. laughs> wow. And this and this I have um, directly coming from everyone here in the studio. Wow. Wow. That's a, that's a, yeah, we have a really high budget. So that's yeah. that's John, how do you feel about being low on the totem pole today? Down again. Oh. Yeah, you I came in right where I expected. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Well, you guys, you know, I think for me, um, as, as the host, as the person who, who knew very little about physics going into this, but, but has the highest horse that I'm sitting on, I couldn't lose. I couldn't lose. I look good. I'm looking at you. I couldn't lose. Yeah. Amy, you look like you disagree. Well, I'm kind of pissed. <laughs> um, <laughs> Can we say that? I'm, kind, I, I'm uh, disappointed in uh, myself. <laughs> Um, well, hey, I've got I a was crown dropping for some you. science and, uh, and the math didn't add up. You. And so, you know, I'm going to probably take it to the board. It's fine. Okay. <laughs> and my crown's broken too. This place you, sucks. You have to put it together. <laughs> you don't get it put together if it's uh, <laughs> not a winner's it. crown. Wow. Yes, let's make a make mega, mega crown. crown. Oh my gosh. Yeah. All you right, mean so... one crown that fits John's head? <laughs> <laughs> He's laughing now, he'll be yeah. crying later. Uh, <laughs> Louisa, you, you knew the answer to the, to the which is a type of energy question. Yes. And, and that was how you secured the win. I gotta know, what, what are you talking about? <laughs> Mnemonic devices are how old, do you really wanna know? I think the camera's it's on you, so we have about to. about old English poetry and the way that it was structured, which is mnemon, mnem Okay, no. Can't even Don't do it. It, <laughs> it helps your memory. It's how you remember stuff in literature. Oh. This is why poetry rhymes. Yeah. yeah. Because it's a mnemonic device. I thought it was mnemonic energy was like having to do with sound. And so I was like, oh, yeah, that would It be. has to do with uh, sound yeah. as well. Like sounds so that are easy to remember. I mean, so you kind best. of won, yeah. I feel like yeah. there's a, like a mutiny we're probably, happening. Like, oh, no, we're going to throw out in the parking. Bike racks, <laughs> right? <laughs> Don't She's cut a win, though. John, on my you? crown. I know. Look at this, though. It's really I just, can we also get a camera on John here uh, with his Sonic the Hedgehog? It's impressive. That is really good. Thank you. John um, also got Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Oh, yeah. <laughs> excellent work, excellent work. You. Well, you know, you guys, I, uh, I'm so glad to have you all here. You're like some of the funniest people I know. Do you guys have anything to plug? Anyone? <laughs> Personal. March, <laughs> okay, March 9th. Amy. Oh, March 9th. Yes. <laughs> March Actually, 9th. We have March a 9th. Huge event to plug. Oh my gosh! Please. We have a show coming up. We are all in it. It's called Carol A. The and it's a the benefit some uh, some very amazing people in the comedy world, in the comedy community, and it's at um, it's March 9th, March right? 9th. At the Comedy Sports uh, Arena, and it's 30 bucks, and it's stand up and improv, no and uh, it's co-headlining with Chastity Washington <gasps> and Charlie Barron. Oh. So it's gonna be a good it's for a good cause. Yep, it's a great cause. And um, yeah, tickets are on Eventbrite. There's a Facebook page. All no way. The information you need is there. Ugh. It's gonna be a magical night. That sounds magical. And you've got two crowns on, so I believe you. Exactly. Oh, well, you guys, round of applause for that. Round of applause for yourselves. Round of applause for our Thanks crew. Thanks for having us. Thank you. Thanks for having us.
This has been Quizzix. You guys have all been a disappointment. It's been an absolute blast to have you all here. None of this scientific madness would be possible without the support of our viewers like you. Thank you. Thank you all. You guys. I don't need them. I'm done. I'm the intro.